everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some of my finished projects and also some works in progress. And after I finish filming this, I'm going to film my Knit Crate unboxing. And I'm excited about that as well because it's kind of like a DIY Knit Crate for this uh, month. Uh, but first of all, um, finished project. And I'm going to start with the one I'm wearing now. I'm not sure if I showed this to you finished in the previous um, in the previous um, episode it might have been that it was finished but not blocked but anyway um, I can show it to you while I'm wearing it I had a bit of a problem with the yarn because it was out of stock everywhere in the UK and I could see I was gonna run out um, but I um, quite early in the knitting process i knew i would run out of yarn because i decided to make a bigger size as you can see it's a lot bigger than the one the green one i have the what the green one i have is a bit fitted this one i wanted it to be quite oversized and flowy and um i knew i would run out of yarn so what i did i kept it quite cropped so it's just by my waist waistline and also uh, the sh sleeves are really really short as you can see this is where uh, I've attached uh, I picked up stitches for the sleeves and what I did is just like four or five rows of stockinette and then straight into the ribbing but I'm so happy with it I think the sleeves are quite um, good size good um, length I love the way it's so flowy and um, it doesn't feel very hot. I mean, it's very hot outside today and I thought, oh, am I going to wear it while I'm filming me because I might get a bit hot and I've got the oven on cooking a stew. <laughs> but it doesn't feel too hot and it's not itchy at all. Uh, I love this yarn and I've talked about the Mondim yarn a lot, uh, but I'm obsessed with every color. I just wish that we could get a lot more different colors in the UK because I don't really feel like ordering from uh, Portugal at the moment. The post office is probably over um, um, stretched, so I didn't want to add to that. But I'll have patience and when um, there's new stock in Wild and Woolly or Tangled Yarn, I think they stock um, Rosa Pomar's yarn, maybe I'll purchase some other colors. Um, I feel like I'm talking so fast. I have another color. Uh, of the Mondim yarn. It's a burnt red, I would say. Um, I did um, show it in a few videos ago and uh, I have plans for that one as well. But yeah, this one is the yellow mustardy color. I can't remember, is it 111 or 115? I don't remember, but I'll link it down below the exact color that I use for this. And is the C1ET. Um, I have my pattern on Ravelry. I will link it down below as well. Um, there's still a few days left of 20% off. Um, all my patterns on Ravelry with the code May 20. So head over there if you want to see some of the patterns that I've been talking about lately. But yeah, this is the c one It's a big one, but I love it. I think this, this fit it's even better than the small fitted one that I have. So yeah, that's that's the Siwani T. So that's one thing that I finished. Um, then I'm sure I've, I've shown you all my socks I have here and some DIY sock blockers because I'm still waiting for my sock blockers. Uh, I contacted the seller on Etsy and she said that it's probably because of the post office is slow because everything is going on. So I'm yet to contact my um, the Royal Mail here in the UK to see if they know anything about my parcel. But I just hope it's not lost because I ordered these really cool sock blockers that you can adjust. So they're kind of like a puzzle, two pieces in a puzzle and then according to the size you want to knit you just uh, expand them or make them smaller but for then uh, until then I just got some um, like a cardboard I cut it and I put my socks to block on them they're not the best but that's all I can do 
So um, I am working on writing um, four, four patterns little booklet uh, for the Ravelry, like an ebook. So you could uh, you could download each pattern individually, but if you want, you can download all four of them because I've done all four socks, all four pair, all four four pairs of socks using only two skeins of yarn and both yarn is a superwash merino and nylon um, dyed with natural colors i do not have i do have pink in my etsy shop um fingering weight i do not have the purple because this was like one off skein but any sock um yarn 200 grams uh, for a size maybe between three and six or seven it would give you four pairs of socks two normal size and two shorties um, so the first one is the siwani socks and the reason why they're called siwani is because it's got the same motif going um, up down the cuff and down the um, down the foot it has stockinette so so it doesn't get uncomfortable while you walk and this one has a heel flap um, heel then so that's one pair then I have the fair isle ones and the I told you my sock blockers are not that good it kind of pulls on the fair isle here uh, here's the fair isle which is just uh, cuffed down with ribbing fair isle german shaw rose heel and then the textured sole to fit better and obviously um rounded toe with kitchener stitch so this is the second pair from the same yarn then i said okay well i've got a little bit of yarn left and i'm gonna go ahead and cast on some short ones and i did i've done these um pico cuff uh little shorties and these ones uh, so you start i talked about these in my previous episode you do a pickle cuff and then here we've got a slip stitch uh, to keep it like more secure and then german shoro's heel again with the texture sole and the round toe and i decided to do the heel and the toe in two different colors uh, i'm in color in a different color than the foot and also it matches the cuff. So these ones are the Pico shorties. And then I still had yarn left, and I'm telling you, I still have a little bit of yarn left. But um, then I decided to do these shorties, which are even like shorter than the Pico edge ones. And these ones are stripes. Um, it's got like a rolled stockinette uh, cuff with a little bit of texture um, at the top here I've got some slip stitches just to keep it uh, more elastic then we have the German show short row oh, sorry about my finger German show row um, heel and then I just posted a video not long ago on how to correct the color in your stripes to for your stripes to be all nice and even and uh, because I was a bit worried I was gonna run out of this yarn I did the toes in the contrasting color yarn and I mean they turned out so well and I'm so happy with these ones so those are all my finished uh, projects and then obviously because I'm never tired of knitting socks, one of my on the needles is another pair of socks. And I have a little bit on it here. I decided to go and shop my stash or my leftovers. And I found this skein is just 50 grams. I'm sure it's enough for a pair of shorty, shorty socks. But it's a very, very soft. I can't remember. It's a knit crate yarn. I've done a scarf. Um, I have a slip stitch scarf in my Etsy shop done in this yarn, but it's um, I had quite a bit left So I wanted to use it and I wanted to pair it with some mohair. So this Color is like a lavender. It has some um, 
the this yarn has some hints of the same color and I paired them together and I started knitting and I am so happy with it this is what they look like they're quite fuzzy um, they're just plain um, ribbing with a German shawl row heel and I'm going to do ribbing all through the foot and then finish with the stockinette toe but yeah I'm excited about these socks and obviously I'm using my favorite favorite chow Gu two millimeters but look at this look at the fuzz oh these and they're so soft I'm so happy with this combination so that's one thing that's on my needles then another thing when I finished my socks and my um, sweater I went in my stash and I found these this yarn these two they're the same yarn but different colors let me show you what it is it's the Nitology glowing worsted so I have it in C and in flying trape trapeze trapeze um, those are my the two colors I have oops and they look really nice together the feel of this yarn is what is it, it so 40% superwash merino 30% silk 30% alpaca it's the softest thing so it's quite is worsted weight it's quite bulky uh, it wouldn't be enough for like a nice big chunky sweater but this is perfect around your neck so I had to cast on for like a scarf or a cowl so this is what I've done so far. I started with a provisional cast on and now I'm knitting in a tube. I've got like a tube this big now and I have this um, kind of like ripple um, stitch. It's, uh, it's fair isle. So I just figured that I'm gonna make it big enough to wrap it around twice. So this will be, this is what it will look like. And you can put it over your nose like that but it's so soft and i'm sure it's going to be very very warm because it's first of all is worsted weight then is um then is doubled because it's fair isle and then it's double again because it's a tube so um i have four so two skeins of this one two skeins of this one and i'm working my way through i've got this much left until I reach half size and then uh, I kind of know the size of my um, of my cowl but yeah um, I will be writing a pattern for that as well and I checked on the Knit Crate website and they still have um, the wor the glowing worsted yarn in this color or this color I can't remember they only have one color so um, I will write to them to see if they're gonna bring more colors but they always bring nice yarn anyway so um, yeah, this is worsted weight. So if you want if you have in your stash a different worsted weight Two colors that work together nice um, Yeah, that would be a nice project for winter Ooh, My legs hurt All right, and then move on to my all-time favorite project that I've done this uh, This month is a cardigan And you would have seen pictures if you follow me on Instagram. I already posted a bit of it I'm using a very rustic cool yarn for this is um, Erica Knight wool local so it's um, it's undyed yarn uh, it smells nice I love it um, and these two colors together they they just work so well so I have this let's see if I can show it to you I cast it on a raglan, raglan cardigan so I still haven't finished uh, my plan for it yet but it's a uh, so it's raglan increases down and then it has this cool slip stitch here and then the bottom part is going to be the darker color so this is kind of like a transition between the gray and the, the like charcoal um, color I'm not sure on the length yet I kind of want it a bit longer not cropped just a bit longer because this is more like a winter uh autumn it's um it's not itchy it's a really nice yarn but i would 
put it on top of a long sleeve I think I wouldn't wear it on bare skin because um, I wouldn't want to wash it that much it's not super wash uh, so I wouldn't want it to be damaged um, that's what I do with m most of my knits I wear a vest or like a t-shirt underneath so it doesn't get dirty as much and sweaty so I don't have to wash them as often um, so yeah at the moment I'm here so I'm still knitting down um, the body and then I'm gonna pick up stitches for the sleeves and then I'm gonna pick up stitches for the button band even though I'm not um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put buttons or if I'm going to have it open. Um, I I don't know yet, but um, yeah, keep an eye on my Instagram to see how I'm going to get on with it. But yeah, that is my cardigan. And so far I've used almost one skein. So this is what I've got left uh, from one skein of the, the grey colour. And... Um, this is what I've got left of the charcoal color. I ordered three skeins, two gray and one charcoal, and um, I'm pretty sure it will be enough because this part, I haven't finished charcoal, the, the um, gray, I still have loads of gray left. And then this is what I've done with the charcoal and I still have loads left. So yeah, those are what I've got on my needles now. And I will film another video with the books that I have because um, I've ordered quite a few books that are really, really good and I wanted to share with you. And um, the reason why I want to do that is because I, I search for books and on Amazon or any other place where you buy books, you don't see much of the book and you don't know exactly what you're getting. So I'm not disappointed in the books I bought, but... Um, I wish I knew more about them before I invested in them. So I want to make a video about that and show you all the books I have and maybe uh, have a list of the books that I wish I had and don't have yet, but I'm, <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Now I'm going to wrap it up and film the knit crate video. But yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please um, click that bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. Check uh, my Instagram and my Ravelry page for everything news. This is that That's pretty much on Instagram is where I put most of my stuff that I'm working on. Um, and yeah, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye.